lesson here, this time on Raku Pali and the Tintal Rhythm. So these are two things, uh, the Tintal Rhythm and the Pali as a Rag, which I can uh, recommend in the beginning to learn because they are fairly simple. So the Bupali, Rag Bupali has a scale which is similar to, or which is the same scale like our Western pentatonic scale, and it's the major pentatonic scale. So this time I choose the, the E flute, and this is my Saad. So the scale is... So this time we take a reference point. I add a tempura here from the Bema Tempura app. I will also add this as a recommendation on the webpage. This is a tunable one. I'm calibrated to 440 now on E. And now we have a look first at each of the swaras, at each of the intervals to get a fairly good intonation. Closed the upper, you can have open for the upper power. Then the da, then we need to close this and open this. You can also play the power with all closed. And then it's the sound again, the overblowing of the tail. So that's the scale. So our basic method to to, uh, to exercise any kind of scales are a group of fourth. Instead of just going up and down, up and down, you can play groupings. Now this is like that. difficult in the beginning. This is, you need to have a very strong arm pressure to, to do them the overblowing. The upper pa here, so this is pa, or the fifth of the tonic here. That's a tonic. Five, one, Western musicians know this is the five. Um, this is the lowest uh, note on the banduri. ways to play that and the uppest or you can also open these so for our scale I play like this on this flute Okay, so these are the groups of four. Now we can combine this with the tintal. I introduced you to the tintal. Therefore, I also use an application which I can recommend. This is Tal Maala. Um, this is a little bit, there's a little huge library, so maybe it's overwhelming in the beginning, but just not to introduce the, the tintal rhythm, the basic rhythm. It's 4-4. Four, four. And this is the one. So with the syllables, this is how the Indian musicians, they count, so the, the, they don't necessarily count the numbers, but they have these bowls, so-called bowls, it's like a mantra, like a syllables. And there's just a little difference in the tinta. that's why I personally 
think the tintal is actually not necessarily the second that the tintal is not necessarily the most easiest um, for musicians who are used to playing music already. For me, for me as a Western musician, it was more difficult to get the tintal because there's nothing to hook on. is very similar. So, but for you to know, so it's four times four. Da din din da. No, one more four. Da din din da. Now middle. This is the kali, the middle of the beat, uh, the rhythm, middle of the rhythm, the tal, the uh, cycle. Da tin tin da da din din da. And again. Da din din da da din din da da tin tin da da din din da da din din da da din din da da tin tin da da din din da. Or one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four. <laughs> four times four, 16 beats. So um, I bring back the tampura and the tintal and show you how to exercise to get used to this rhythm. You can design your scale exercises in a way that they will match. So first I will play a little bandish. I created this with, together with my son. He was singing a nice lyrics to that. And this is a very simple one. It starts on the one. There's also this bing. I'll show you. That's the sign for the sum for the beginning of the tone. And this starts also with the sum. cycles of, uh, of one ten times, so it's two times 16 beats. So this was a little example for a very simple bandage. And now i show you an exercise you can do on the ten time. The group of four again. simpler in the beginning. Didn't, uh, make only the upper and the lower octave. exercise the scale and also to get used to the tin time um, there's another option you can have uh, there is a um, metronome called metronome beats which is a very easy to use one and I did simulate the tin time here like this and now I repeat these exercises with coming from half time, the 
the beat and the double time. Dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun. You can also do this with a simple beat. With a like that. So, but I just introduced you these introduce you these methods to also simulate the chin time, and then you have a multiple uh, benefit of an exercise. For the beginners, of course, uh, this is to be uh, taken down to the very basic foundations and then adding one aspect of another. But if you are a little bit intermediate player, then you might pick up this and just use it for your benefit. So, have fun with the uh, pentatonic scale, maybe again. Uh, it's one of the ones you used to learn earlier. Uh, now in the context of rock, rupali and the tintile rhythm. Bye-bye and see you soon. Have a good time. <laughs>